So, first of all, a fantastic first episode back. I mean, what can you tell us about the first episode and the threat of the Spoonheads? Well, the threat of the Spoonheads is that they are climbing into our Wi-Fi and stealing people's minds. Um, it's sort of Doctor Who meets the born identity, uh, you know, in, in as best a way we can do that. You get the Doctor on a motorbike riding up a shard, you get Westminster, uh, Celia Imri being kind of saucy and villainous. Yeah. And um, yeah, I was really thrilled with it actually, and, and I think it's been really well directed by Colin. I hesitate to say this, but it's like, you know, G uh, Doctor Who does James Bond and Bourne, but that of course <laughs> makes it very, very different indeed in the mad old world of Doctor Who. Yeah. So it's, I would hardly say it's a gritty urban thriller, but uh, it's, it's what a gritty urban thriller would turn into if, uh, if the lead was a lunatic in a bow tie. <laughs> what can you tell us about the new uh, version of Clara that you're playing? Um, I can tell you that uh, there, there is an essence which is the same as Oswin and the Victorian uh, Clara that we saw at Christmas, but she um, she's kind of she kind of doesn't wear a heart on her sleeve too much. She's um, she's always dreamt of travelling, and she's kind of an adventurer and an explorer at spirit. But kind of she finds herself having finished university, not quite knowing what to do with her life and, and where to go next until she meets the Doctor. So um, uh, so that's kind of her situation at the moment. The way I sort of feel the one you're meeting now will feel like a slightly more real life version. Yeah. You know, the very 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 sassy witty up front uh, Oswin. Mm. Uh, you had the lovely feisty romantic governess and now you're going to meet somebody who just feels like that but more real world. I think she sort of reignited his curiosity in the universe and the world and her impossibility is, is it's awakened him you know and um, I think he was grieving over the ponds and he wasn't he wasn't exploring or looking in quite the same way and I think now he is.